Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk, so let's do five records in five minutes. And it's the middle of August, and at least in the United States, the middle of August is sort of back to school time. If you have kids, if you are a kid, if you're a student, if you're a teacher, you're an educator, you're a professor, and that's what I do for a living. And so let's do some school-related songs. So first, let's get into 1957. That was before I went to school, because I wasn't alive yet. Uh, we got the song School Day by Chuck Berry, Chess Records. There's a song called Deep Feeling on the flip side. Um, and if you've ever heard this song and you've ever heard No Particular Place to Go, you're going to go, aren't these the same song, with just with different lyrics? And I found out that that pretty much uh, is the case. Uh, this song, I think, actually came before uh, No Particular Place to Go. Um, of course, if you're a student, you do have a particular place to go. It's your uh, classroom. Uh, anytime there's anything school-related as far as a theme for a album, a theme for a v anything involving a school thread, I like to show this album by The Godfathers, Birth, School, Work, Death. 1988, sort of alternative rockish sort of stuff before they called it that. And of course, that's sort of the story of my life. Uh, the school and work part have pretty much been intertwined uh, for me, um, but I'm still in the work phase. I haven't quite uh, fit into the fourth quadrant yet. Um, so... Um, and this is the only record by theirs I have and have probably ever listened to. Um, and of course, Nirvana did a school song too on the classic Bleach album. So the fourth song on side one is simply called School. And it's got very simplistic lyrics. Won't you believe it? It's just my luck. And you repeat that a bunch of times. And then No Recess. And you compare... Uh, repeat that a bunch of times. Won't you believe it? It's just my luck. Repeat that a bunch of times. No recess. Uh, repeat that a bunch of times. You're in high school again. Repeat that a bunch of times. And no recess. Uh, repeat that a bunch of times. I don't think Kurt really enjoyed his time in school. You're in high school again when he's singing it. It's not like, yay, I'm in high school again. It's like, it's like, it's like I went to hell. I'm in high school again. And there's no recess. So I don't think Kurt Cobain was a big fan of school. And while we're on sort of that sub-pop theme, here's a recent pickup of Mind Love Battery Dayglo uh, from 1992. Um, I guess they were a little bit more um, into school than Kurt was. They have a song called Cool School on this particular record. And the, kind of my main memory of Love Battery is the craziest rock concert I ever went into my life in a little club called the Filling Station in Bozeman, Montana, probably in either late 92 or sometime in 93, based on the period that I lived in that general region and was attending shows at that place. Um, so Love Battery... Uh, they had this song Between the Eyes on the grunge uh, years comp. It's not on this particular record, but that's probably their most notable song. I mean, people were like basically climbing the poker machines. They have those in bars in Montana and were jumping off of them. And it was just nuts. And so let's get a little bit more cerebral. Um, so we've got some Thelonious Monk with the Palo Alto album. And so the, the idea here is this, this is an arch, archival album. Um, this was recorded in 1968 at Palo Alto High School. And so, of course, if you would take band class in high school, your high school might have a jazz band. Maybe your band teacher's in the Thelonious Monk. In my case, my band teacher was more into Benny Goodman because he was a mainly a clarinet player. I played that for a few years. So there you go. Five records, five minutes. You're in high school again. <laughs> 